Welcome back to Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video, I am going to solve important numerical examples in the concept of slip and slip speed of induction motor. So you should understand what is the meaning of slip and slip speed. I request you to watch my previous video, lecture number 116. Uh, I have explained very clearly. So even the, the notes are attached in the description box as well. Yes, coming to the problem. So we will we are going to discuss the problem very clearly. So first I request you to read the given information and note on the important parameters. That is the first thing you need to do. A three-phase induction motor with the supply frequency. Let me write supply frequency is uh, 50 hertz. Fine, given data. These are the given data. Let me write GD, given data. And the six poles. There are six number of poles are available in the induction motor. And the full load percentage of slip, that is equal to how much? Three percentage. Slip is equal to three percentage. That is nothing but 0 0.03. Three divided by 100. So you need to calculate the synchronous speed. So we have the synchronous speed equation. Okay. Synchronous speed is nothing but speed of rotating magnetic field, which is given by the letter NS. That is equal to 120 into F divided by P. So please substitute the value. Uh, to 120 into 50 divided by, there are six number of poles available. So this becomes two. So total. 1000 rpm. I think you understood. Okay. 1000 rpm is the right answer. I have uh, taken the same question from the textbook only. You can check it up. Okay. So 1000 rpm, you will be getting the answer. Well, uh, next you need to calculate the actual speed. So we have the slip. Actual slip is nothing but uh, the ns minus n. Difference between synchronous speed to the rotor speed divided by Synchronous speed. So here I wanted to calculate the n, where n is known as actual speed. Make a note of that. Actual speed of actual speed of speed of rotor. So s is how much? 0 0.03. That is equal to ns. What is ns? 1000 rpm, right? 1000 minus n divided by 1000. So from this, you need to calculate n. So do one thing, use the closed multiplication. 0 0.03 into 1000. That is equal to 1000 minus n. Therefore, n is equal to, so you can use simple mathematics, 0 0.03 into 1000, right? 1000. So please let me know the answer. So I'm referring the textbook and I found that I even use the cal calc 970 revolution per minute RPM. Remember that there, is, there will be always a difference between the Synchronous speed and the actual speed. Ns minus n should be always there. That, you, that point you have to remember. So uh, the actual speed is 9,950, 9, 9, where the synchronous speed is 1,000. That point you have to remember. By the way, now I will be moving on to the another problem. So let us move on to another problem. Okay. So I am going to delete. I am going to clear it up. Yes. So second problem is very like uh, interesting and it may ask in the competitive examination also if you are planning for like a competitive examination such as ssc gate then this problem will be really helpful so there won't be any more confusion please understand the thing very clearly so first you please uh, like uh, make a note of this particular problem yeah i'm going to solve a three phase 10 pole induction motor is supplied by six pole alternator so how the induction motor is applied? It is applied with the alternator. So we have three-phase alternator. Three-phase alternator that is going to supply power to induction motor. So you can mark like this is my induction motor. Draw neatly induction motor. So now write down the parameter. So we have 10-pole induction motor. P is equal to 10-pole. Uh, then it's a three-phase. Of course, it's a three-phase induction motor. So it is supplied by alternator, supplied by alternator. That means alternator is giving the supply to induction motor. So alternator, so how many number of poles are there? Six poles. Then uh, the it is running at um, how much? 1200 RPM. Okay, 1200 RPM. So you are supposed to calculate the speed of the motor. You are supposed to calculate the speed of the motor. Correct. Speed of the motor. At slip is equal to 0 0.03. Let us analyze. So, first of all, we require 
supply frequency of alter, uh, like alternators. I mean, how much amount of supply frequency is produced by the alternator? So let us write supply frequency of alternator. Supply frequency. Supply frequency of alternator. Alternator is nothing but AC generator. Alternator is given by is given by F is equal to Pns by 120. What is Ns? Ns is nothing but uh, like uh, the synchronous speed of uh, alternator. Okay. So here P is how much? 6. 6 into. What is uh, the synchronous speed of alternator? 1200. 1200 divided by 120. Kindly simplify it. So this become 10. So total 600. Sorry. 60 hertz. Right. So don't make any mistake. Well, cal calculation will be perfect. Okay. So it become one. Yes. 600 only. 60, 60. Sorry. So the right answer is 60. Kindly verify. So even I have verified. Kindly verify. Answer is 60 only. Yes. So I have checked the textbook and I ver am verifying the answer. Uh, it is of course 60 hertz. I verified actually. There is no confusion. 120, one time, this is 10. 10 into 6 is nothing but 60 hertz. Therefore, we will write like uh, uh, the alternator is supplying at a frequency of 60 hertz. One part is over. Now, what is my question? My question is calculate the speed of motor. Now, synchronous speed of induction motor you have to calculate. So, note down. Synchronous speed of induction motor. Induction motor that is given by 120F by P. Substitute 120 into frequency 60, right? Divided by how many poles are there for uh, induction motor? Yes, there are 10 poles. So 10, 10, 10, 10 get cancelled. So it will become 7, 720. Okay, 720. 720 RPM. What is 720 RPM? It is a synchronous speed of uh, induction induction motor or speed of rotative magnetic field of induction motor. Now, what I need to calculate, just tell me. I need to calculate the speed of the motor. Speed of the motor I want to calculate. Yes. So, you can use the formula S equal to Ns minus N divided by Ns. Slip is already given. What is the value of slip? It is 0 0.03. 0 0.03 is equal to Ns I have calculated. 720 minus N divided by 720. Now, please uh, simplify 0 0.03 into 720. That is equal to 720 minus N. Therefore, N is equal to 720 minus uh, 0.3 into, sorry, 0 0.03. 0 0.03 into 720. Please do calculate it. So, I am going to verify the answer in the textbook. It is, you should get 698 RPM. So, 698 RPM. RPM. So, we will write like a speed of mod induction motor that is equal to 698 RPM. That is the correct answer. So, please make a note of this answer. So, this is the how to solve the numerical example to let the slip and slip speed. In the next video, I am going to come up, I am going to explain uh, the, the a derivation that is Frequency of rotor current. Derive an expression for frequency of rotor current. So, stay tuned. Please update. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you are, if any of your friends or any colleagues are preparing for gate examination, I request you to share this kind of numerical example. Even this is helpful for the university examination related to various universities across India and globe. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you.